friends, this is Ivy and welcome to another video of my reading journal. We're almost halfway through the year so a lot of things have happened in the world so I hope you guys are doing fine at your home and staying safe and staying healthy. For this video, we're gonna do my June spread for this reading journal. So over on our bookstagram, we're also holding a lettering challenge. It's called Read the Stars Challenge. I'll also be doing the spread after the June spread. I think it's gonna be quite a long video. If you want more info on the Read the Stars Challenge, I'm gonna post the link in the description box or just go to our bookstagram so everything is there. And I'll also show you a sneak peek after I've done everything here. Check out my reading journal playlist up here so you can see all of my reading journal videos. So anyway, let's get on with this. As usual, we're always starting with the reading challenge. So, so far, I've read one book in May. This does not include the audiobooks that I listened to. I know we're halfway through the year already and <laughs> I'm not even halfway through my reading goal yet. I'm not much in the mood lately. I don't know why. I think it's just me. It's been months since I've been experiencing this reading slump. Anyway, so this is the May spread. I was expecting it really to be colorful of different shades of purple and pink but then there were some days that I didn't read a lot so this is really my favorite spread, the jellyfish. The only book that I finished is the Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. So this is the first book of the Chaos Walking trilogy. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much and I regret that I didn't read this earlier. It's one of my favorites so far. As you can see here, I've rated it 5 stars everything because it's just awesome and really a page turner. So we have here the dog in the book who is Manchi and I really really love this character. I like the main character, um, what's his name? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I like the relationship of Manchi and Todd in this book and I really admired the development of their relationship and how they went on adventures. If you know what I mean, there was just this part of the book that was so sad. I'm excited to read the rest of the books. The first book that I finished listening to was um, Heroes by Stephen Fry. So I really really like the audiobook. I really really like Stephen Fry's writing and narrations. It's just the best. So we have here the Heracles or Hercules as we know. And I didn't fill up any of these pages because while I was listening to this, I was doing chores or washing the dishes. So I couldn't take notes. But I really really enjoyed it. It has hints of comedy. It was fun listening to and Stephen Fry's just hilarious. I I love it. So I rated this 4.8. So it's not a perfect 5 stars. It was just some of the stories were just the pacing was just a bit slow. But it's not bad. And the second and last audiobook that I listened to is Happy Money by Ken Honda. So this is a general self-help audiobook. I always borrow audiobooks that are self-help because it's like listening to a podcast and it counts as reading a book. So this is about not just handling your money but also the, our relationship with money and how we always treat money like it's controlling our lives and ruining friendships, relationships with family and all those stuff. I like how Ken Honda was very clear about we shouldn't just rely fully on money because Money can buy happiness, but it's temporary happiness and we should focus on building better relationships with our loved ones. It's very insightful and it's very much different from the other books that I read. So this is the May wrap-up. I read 479 pages, listened to 20 hours of audiobooks, an average star rating of 4.33. So we have 5 posts on our bookstagram. And the one upload on our booktube, which was the May spread or May theme that I did. The reason why these are still blank because as I'm filming this, it's still kind of the end of May. I wanted to upload this earlier, like before June because of the reading challenge level. <laughs> so I have here the June spread. I pasted this right away. I was supposed to do it during filming but I got too excited and started pasting stuff so I'm gonna do something like 
stars in the galaxy kind of thing. As you can see, I didn't really plan it much. It's just a circle somewhere. I don't know if you can see. I'm just gonna do something simple. I'm just in the mood to wing it. <laughs> Seriously, and then the next page we have the read the stars challenge. We have four quotes that We would do so what I'm gonna do for the whole challenge is I'm gonna do the whole spread for each of the quotes I use everything for one spread so I didn't want one page to go to waste and I'm almost Finished with this journal. I think I have maybe 20 plus pages left. I'm gonna be using a new journal brand new journal So there's gonna be a lot of planning for that so yeah, I've been talking too much. Let's do this. Enjoy the time lapse. my June spread. I kind of like how this turned out. It's what I imagined. For winging it, I think I did kind of okay with that. I did this and this and some stars off camera because I had to charge my camera's battery and to let the silver ink dry for a bit before I continue on to the next page. So we have here the key of how many pages I read in a day. So we have the days all around the June here. As usual, I will post all of the inspirations um, down below in the, the description box so you can check that out so we have here the read the stars challenge i have the stickers here for the first time in a long time that i've used stickers in this journal i don't know i just found this at home it's like foil stickers it's shiny 
iridescent type of color so I really like this and it really suits the theme. The Read the Stars challenge will be mostly on my bookstagram so make sure you follow us on that. Use the hashtag read the stars challenge. I think I'm gonna do a kind of a time lapse thing so lettering of the first challenge for the whole spread and some doodles or whatever I can think of. Okay, that's it for my video for today. I think it's long enough. I hope you guys will be participating and it's gonna be fun. I think it's a good way to de-stress a bit. Check our bookstagram for more info. Just check out my reading journal playlist here and here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you for watching!